Hi kids, it's Pastor Alan here again with some thoughts on this week's Sunday School lesson. It's taken from Luke chapter 6, verse 27 through verse 36. I'm going to read the first two verses. This is chapter 6, verses 27 and 28. But I say to you, this is Jesus talking, but I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. So the Lord Jesus says something really amazing here by teaching his followers, that includes us, to love our enemies. Like, who would even think of saying such a thing? Why should we love our enemies? Well, the passage goes on to say that that we're to act like God acts towards people, that God does good to everyone. We all experience the same weather. I know sometimes the weather isn't so great, but this, the sun shines on everyone, everyone who plants, the, then the gr- things grow from the ground. We all experience difficulty in, in the same way, so to speak. Um, eventually, God's going to deal with people who, who um, don't come to know him and, and, and don't become his children, and there will be punishments at the end of time, but everybody has an opportunity to come to know God through the Lord Jesus. And so God wants us to treat people like he, he treats people, and God loves everyone, and so we should love everyone. Now, that doesn't mean that every single person is supposed to be our friend. There's an uh, interesting, interesting isn't the word, there's a a picture to color in this week's Sunday School lesson. It looks like it's a mom with a son and a daughter. I don't know if that's exactly who it is. And it says, love your enemies from this passage. And she's hugging the two of them. And, and it, it's, it seems to be giving the impression that that's the way we're supposed to love our enemies. And that's not really the case. Let's say there's a bully in your school or on your street that is trying to hurt you. You don't have to go and hug them. They don't have to be your best friend. They, in fact, you you should stay away from them. Now, that doesn't mean you should hate them. You should pray for them. Their bullies are usually people that are hurting in a in a big way inside, and you can pray that God deals with those things in their lives that are making them act that way, and that God would give them a change of heart. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And perhaps you will be the one that will help that person change, first by your prayers. So instead of being so mad at them and wanting to hurt them back, Pray that God forgives them. Pray that God changes them. Pray that they too come to know the love of God. Don't hate them, but love them. But that doesn't mean that you need to to be their friend and try to play with them when all they're trying to do is hurt you and hurt others. Um, You should forgive people that hurt you. And that's another way that we love other people, by forgiving them. But forgiving them doesn't mean that we just let them Uh, do what they're doing and hurting you and other people. In fact, if there are people in your life that are hurting you, you need to talk to your parents and other people that you trust so they'll, they'll stop, uh, they'll stop hurting people. And that is another way we love people. It's not getting them into trouble. It's actually helping those people that are behaving badly get the help they need. That's how we can love even those who are acting like our enemies. Let's pray. Our Father, help us to love others in the way that you love us. Father, help us to understand that being uh, loving others isn't the same as being nice to everybody. It's, it's, we should be kind, uh, but help us, Lord, to know how to even lovingly, uh, get people involved in, in other people's lives in such a way that they can get the help that they need. Please, Lord, Lord, where there's bullies in our lives, we pray that you would reach out to them and help them with the hurts that they're they're feeling and, and how they're acting out badly, that you would change their hearts and help them in their lives. So, Lord, help all of us, the children and the adults, know how to truly love and bless those who are not acting nicely towards us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I know this is a difficult topic. If you have any questions, you or your parents can email me at pastor at allsaintslutheran.ca. Until next time, God bless you and your families.